Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Did you know that parsley could be used for extreme high growth? It's probably one of the main ingredients that you have in your kitchen that you probably didn't know that you could use it for your hair. So in this video, I will be sharing with you two ways in which you can use it to promote extreme high growth. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, let's hop right into the video guys before we do that be sure to hit the thumbs up button guys and also subscribe if you're not already and let's hop right into it so you are going to need some fresh parsley leaves now i got mine from a regular grocery store um but if you've got dry parsley or powdered parsley is absolutely fine to use that i always prefer to use fresh ingredients because i know that you know they still have all of the nutrients in it um, so and this is quite easy to find as well in most grocery shops you will find it um, so yeah so essentially I'm using a small quantity here but the whole pack I'm just popping that into a bowl and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off just so I can remove all of the dirt from it pretty much now parsley is actually really good for hair because it contains protein it has some amazing vitamins like vitamin d it's got folate it's got vitamin c e and k it also contains calcium copper iron potassium magnesium zinc so really full of amazing vitamins that are certainly known to help promote healthy hair growth it helps it helps to stimulate healthy hair growth it promotes natural hair color it prevents hair loss um it pretty much treats lice infections as well so if you do have children with lice this is definitely worth trying on them it also makes your hair nice and smooth silky and shiny it gets rid of down draft and it gives you nice and shiny hair which is absolutely fantastic so after i rinse that off guys this is what the water looks like now when you see the parsley you always think that it's nice and clean but always wash it off before you put it in your food because when i did this guys i had some sand um, at the bottom of my water um, so i popped that in my blender i went ahead and blended it now i'm ready to strain so i'm using a recap here but feel free to use any other thing that you normally use to strain your DIYs so I'm just pouring that on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and basically uh, squeeze it just so I can get all of the juice out of it now I forgot to say as well that you will need to add a little bit of water to the parsley before you blend otherwise it's not going to um, get through the teeth of your blender but don't add too much water because you don't want to have too much of a diluted uh, kind of um, liquid um, so just enough water to blend will be absolutely fine okay guys so at this point i had finished squeezing it and this is the pulp that is left behind now do not throw this away because we are going to need it to make the next uh, stuff that we're going to do later so definitely keep it because it's still full of amazing nutrients now this is what is left behind guys i have a nice greenish liquid that is certainly full of goodness for our hair now i'm going to go in now with some avocado oil but feel free to use argan oil or olive oil rapeseed oil or any other oil that you've got as long as it's liquid so that it can easily pass through um, the mouth of your spray bottle or your applicator bottle so i just added a little bit of that and then i'm just stirring that in and now i'm going to transfer it into my applicator bottle so that it's a bit easier for me to apply to my hair
Okay guys, so at this point we're pretty much ready to apply it to my hair. Um, so I was going to do a parsley rinse. So essentially I'm going to apply this and then uh, shampoo my hair. My hair is actually quite dirty. I don't know if you guys can tell. It doesn't look really nice and shiny at all. Um, it does look quite pale. Um, it's because it definitely needs a wash. Okay, so um, I'm just sort of um, doing the little sections of a little twist that I have. I always have my hair like this pretty much most of the time, to be completely honest. Um, so yeah, I'm just sectioning it here. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the... Um, the juice the parsley juice to my roots massaging that in nicely I'm also going to apply it to my ends and the rest of my hair pretty much now if you apply it to your roots guys don't forget to massage it's really important because scalp massages helps to increase the blood flow to the scalp and essentially uh, uh, causes more nourishment to your um, follicles which essentially can help with you know promoting faster hair growth so massage that on really nicely and then I'm like I said I'm also applying it to what throughout the rest of my hair so and after I'm, I've finished doing that I'm just twisting that section and doing like a little bantu knot so that it doesn't dry out as I work on the next section now bear in mind this is a uh, liquid so essentially when you're applying it to your hair it will you will get a little bit wet okay it will drip a bit down your neck and stuff like that but it's absolutely okay to just use something to wipe it down um which is pretty much what i was doing here so yeah just make sure that every single bit of your hair is nice and covered with this and then twist the hair up Okay guys, so at this point I was completely done uh, applying it to my hair. I still had some leftovers, so I'm just about distributing it again on my hair because I didn't want to have to keep it. Um, when it comes to my DIYs, I tend to make exactly what I need for one session, but feel free to make more and freeze it and use next time if you want to. Um, so yeah, I was just trying to basically use up everything that I made here. So now I'm pretty much ready to go in with my shower cap. So I'm just going to leave this sit in my hair for about one hour to two hours. And then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair as I would normally do. Uh, but if you want, you can actually just rinse your hair off without shampoo. But I prefer to shampoo because I want to remove the smell um, of the parsley as well from my hair. So um, yeah, so really, really good at stimulating the follicles and keeping your hair nice and moisturized and also making it nice and shiny. Now, I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to show you basically what my hair looks like afterwards because this video is going to be otherwise really long. But my hair felt really nice and shiny and really nice and moisturized as well. So we will be moving on to the next part of the video where I will be showing you how to, the second way in which you can use parsley to promote healthy hair growth. So we will be using the parsley pop that we had from the previous one uh, or the juice that we made. So essentially I'm just pouring that here into a little bowl and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of oil. So I will be using some avocado oil here. Um, but again guys, please feel free to use any other oil of your choice. It could be olive oil again, it could be um, uh, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, like any other oil that you've got. I suggest you use an oil that is certainly resistant to heat because we are going to apply heat to this. So I'm now going in with some olive oil as well. Now I always use extra virgin olive oil because it's not you know refine it's got all of its nutrients in it still so i don't exactly know the quantity here guys but feel free to use as much or as little as you want so i'm just pouring that in there stirring everything nice um nicely so that everything is sort of nice and combined and then i will we'll be doing the double or double boiler method now you can actually do this directly in the pan if you want to but I'm just thinking it will oxidize some of the nutrients in this. So it's always better to do the double boiler method because you're able to retain most of the nutrients in it. So it's very simple to do. You just pop water in a little pan and then place your bowl with your stuff in it and allow it to just boil over 
perhaps a few minutes i think this stayed there for less than 30 minutes to be honest it wasn't really a long time so you know it's done when the parsley has turned from bright green just like you saw earlier to this slightly darker green color so that's how you know that is definitely done so you take that off the fire allow it to sit and rest for a little bit so that it can cool down and then we're going to go ahead and strain it again Now to strain this, I will be using again a recap but like I always say guys, feel free to use whatever works for you. So I'm just pouring the uh, oil into that and essentially I'm going to go ahead and gently squeeze it. The thing about parsley is that it's actually pretty good so it doesn't uh, pass through the holes of the recap which is really nice. Now I'll suggest that if you are to do this guys, don't blend the parsley too uh, fine because obviously you don't want to... I don't know like you you don't want it to be too fine so that it doesn't just pass through so have a little bit of texture to it uh, but not too too coarse either so essentially I'm just squeezing it here just to get pretty much all of the um, oil out and look at this goodness guys literally a nice green oil full of goodness for our hair so I'm now going to go in here with some essential oils again this is optional so if you don't have them don't worry don't worry about it just use what you have or use it without it so i'm using the same essential oils which are tea tree essential oils rosemary and peppermint i just love these because they are certainly very beneficial for hair growth and for a healthy scalp i don't know exactly how many drops of this i've added guys please feel free to use as much or as little as you want so stir that in nicely until it's well combined and then that's it you pretty much have your oil that you can use in so many ways you could be used as a hot oil treatment as a hair growth oil by gently massaging that to your scalp um and yeah and essentially you can use it perhaps every single day of the week if you want to or maybe twice or three times a week so i'm just transferring it here into my uh, jar that i'm going to use to store this um so transfer it to whatever you know you normally use for your diys um so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed the video and if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share with that friend that family member you believe could benefit from this subscribe to the channel if you're not already i really do appreciate it and i would love to have you in this little family until next time guys take care bye bye